do it? Not yet. Do it now. Go in now. I'm not ready. The guy runs 20 minutes every morning. What else do you need to know? Ray, I'm telling you, this guy is dangerous. I don't want to... Hello? for this address. Can you sign for it? Thanks a lot. Have a nice day.
Very nice. Um, to mom. Gotcha, you bastard. the guy with the packages comes. Then Mr. I'm a jogger for my health. He comes back. Then his friend shows up. I mean, man, I've been watching this place for three weeks. I mean, three weeks is awesome. Nothing ever changes. It's always the same. I gotta go open up. It's close to me. I'll see you later. Bye. Are you from here or from out of town? Speak to Abel Crow, please. Oh, really? No, no, no message. Thank you. May I speak with Abel Crow? All right, would you be kind enough to tell him that the rare book he ordered has come in? Yes. No, he'll know. Thank you. Bye-bye. Hi. Hi. Is this it? Yep, that's it. Do me a favor. Hold on one sec. Sure. Uh, what's that all about? That? Oh, nothing. Don't worry about it. This is it, huh? Yeah. Okay, let's see. we federal, state... Local tax, 5667. What? That's right, 5667. That's what it says, and these machines don't lie. Well, what are you, on drugs or something? I got a used paperback. <laughs> 
Drugs? Is that what you have in the bag? No. What's in the bag? What? Hey, look, what the hell is this? Open the goddamn door. You gonna make me? If I have to, yeah. Look, I got a Smith & Wesson under the counter, man, pointing at you. And if you don't hurry up, I'm gonna shoot you right in the dick. Well, you can't do that. Are you kidding? Of course I can do that. In this neighborhood, man, I can shoot a customer. We can get away with it. Well, I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> Come on, you want to hurry up? You're holding up my other customers. Come on. I don't have $56, all right? It's going to cost you 60 I didn't know you had this one. Hey, lady, fuck you. In that case, put the books on the counter. Yeah, sure, sure. Don't you ever, ever try to steal anything from me again. You understand that? Yeah. Okay, now get the fuck out of here. Yes. Doors open. Thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Babe. <laughs> well, that's about the most bizarre thing I've ever seen. And I was a cop for 25 years. Usually, you know, the customer comes in and holds the proprietor up. I mean, that's how it's supposed to work, Bernie. They come in here, they hold you up. How'd you get in here? You left the back door unlocked. Uh, I couldn't have gotten in otherwise because I don't know how to pick a lock, personally. You got a permit for that gun? I mean, they're giving ex-cons permits these days. Ray, I'm busy. Yeah, yeah, you look busy. What do you want? What do you think I want? I want $20,000 payable today, right now. And I want a mink coat for my wife. Now, I'm getting tired of asking for that, Bernie. Ray, at the end of the week, everything's gonna be very cool. I give you my word. I don't think so. Why not? Because Abel Crow died last night of a massive heart attack in the St. Francis Hotel. Probably had a cholesterol count of around 2,000. So you better find another receiver for that stamp very, very fast, my darling. Who do you know that takes stamps? Not my problem. No, 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 no. My problem is waiting around for you to get the job done. Ray? I'm not going to do something that's stupid, and I'm not going to hit somebody who doesn't have it coming. Oh, please, please, spare me your ethical considerations. You got a week. A week? Uh-huh. Stamps. Stamps are a New York business for the most part. What there is of it. <laughs> See, I, I'm, in a, I'm in a bit of a fix. You could fly to New York. But I'm not sure even then. Uh, that's all right. If you hear of anybody, just... I got some other stuff. This one I would have trouble with. It's very specific. This one, there's no problem. A thousand? Oh, that's great. Oh, and I got this, uh, Rolex Oyster Perpetual. The usual on that? Yeah. Thanks. Always a pleasure. Bernie, I know you like to find your own things, but you say you're in a fix. I know somebody, a longtime customer, and I know the merchandise involved. It's very tempting. IBM? Sorry? Italian businessman. <laughs> no, 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 nothing like that, nothing at all. It's a dentist. A dentist? Bernard Rodenbar? Bernice, Bernice, Bernice Rodenbar. Yeah, it's definitely worry about Vinicius Ramirez. A lot of times. Three on your left. Buenos dias, como esta? Bien. Como en Anglo. Yeah, the epitome of Anglo. <laughs> open up, please. Uh, no. Please open up. No. Open up, please. No. Please open Look, up. I'm just here it's for gonna have to be wider than Where's that. Where's the doctor? Please open up. No. Please open up. Thank you. Uh-huh. 
Nice, nice choppers. Anka. Uh-huh. 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 Ow! I'm looking at your teeth. Really? Hi. How we doing? One cavity, best as I can tell. Uh-huh. Well, thank you very much. You can take a break now. Don't forget your nuts. <laughs> Lower left molar. Great, thank you. Shut the door. Well, open wide. Come no. on, no. come on. Oh, thank you. Good girl. Ah. Mr. Pagif is a very nice man. Ah, uh, uh, yeah. He said I could trust you. He can trust me. Bought a lot of jewelry from him over the years. Oh, yeah? Jewelry I don't have anymore. Somebody stole it from me. My former husband. Hmm. I would like very much to get that jewelry back. Call the police. <laughs> well. Okay. Ah! Oh, no, it's on the house. You need it. You need it. Okay. Most all of my business is Hispanic. Most of them illegal, so they pay cash. Unreported cash. There. That'll be numb in a minute. Didn't feel a thing, did you? <laughs> With this cash, I bought jewelry. When my husband and I separated. He went to our safe deposit box and cleaned it out. There's nothing official I can do about it without the IRS finding out. Okay, open up for Mr. Thirsty. Okay, good girl. Well, keep a view in the horse book. What? Well, she keeps a view of it in his house. Oh, his apartment. I don't know why. I guess he likes to show it to his girlfriends. Of which he has many. Besides, he's not exactly a rocket scientist. I don't know about you, but I've always been a sucker for a really nice pair of buns. Okay. The apartment's simple. There's no doorman downstairs, and I've even got a key to the place. Were we? What? Really? Yes, really. Christopher's rarely there because he's always out in bars, screwing everything he can get his hands on. What is the movie going to watch? What? What is the jewelry valued at? Oh, mm, about a hundred thousand. Bullshit. Okay. It's more. I'm prepared to give you ten thousand dollars for the job. Wider, please. One in five. What? Twenty-five thousand. That's what I need. Oh my God! You you got the key. I'll tell you where everything is. What could be easier? You do it then. Jesus God! Twenty-five thousand dollars. Take it or leave it. Ow! God damn it! God damn it! Ow! When will you go in? At night? No, in the daytime. You'll do it then. Maybe. Bitch, don't tell me about the lawn. Get to 
around this, Christopher. Got a definite refrigerator man here. He's so beautiful. He's such a good dresser. Ooh, and what's behind door number two? Who knew this was there? I didn't know. It's so beautiful. Many beautiful things. I tell you, great Gatsby will be very upset. But what do I remember from the other closet? Let's go and see. Oh, this is... Oh, this is... Oh, no, this is not going to do. I would not watch dogs fucking this. Ah, but this, I would watch dogs and cats. I No, 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 you've got to do it. No, 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 you've got to do it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come
Look, forget about returning your phone call. I don't care. Just, look, there's nothing going on, okay? Just walk away from me when I'm talking to you. Relax, okay? Just I said don't walk away from me. Look, I just, get, get, what are you doing? What is that? seen dead people before okay i've seen lots of dead people i've seen tons of dead people but this guy was beyond dead i don't know what the fuck that was sticking out of his chest he looked like a wind-up toy i mean you gotta be crazy you know you gotta be really crazy to stab somebody like that this was very bizarre i mean this was very strange i don't understand you get out of jail you don't do anything wrong and now all of a sudden you, you start doing jobs again carl do you ever think that i might worry about you do you ever think, like, maybe I don't have oodles and oodles of friends? And if I lose you, well, I'm gonna, I'll be losing, like, my best friend. Carl, you don't understand. You don't know what's going on. Let me tell you what's happening. You know Ray the Gimpy Cop? He comes in and he says, I got something that I think you'd be interested in. I got a pair of gloves from San Mateo Job pulled five years ago. You know why I know they're yours? I say no. He says, because inside, they're fingerprints, because there's powder in the gloves. Carl, I didn't know this. I leave these gloves there. He picks them up. He puts them downtown. And all he has to do is call somebody and say, I know where these gloves are. So I say, Ray, what is it that you want? He says, I want $20,000, and I'm in code for my wife, and I want you to get it. You know what that means? That means I'm pulling jobs again. That means that tomorrow, they're going to come haul my black ass back to jail, probably for murder now. And you got any suggestions? Any suggestions at all, Carl? I don't know, maybe you could go, like, on a $25,000 pyramid, you know, get the money. Carl, I think maybe a better idea is that you find yourself a new best friend. I know good dental care for your kids is worth any price. At the Sheldrake Clinic, we make sure it's a price you can afford. In times like these, you've got to ask yourself, why pay more? Dave, that's how people in this city are used to seeing Dr. Cynthia Sheldrake. But at 10.45 this morning, she was taken into custody on charges of brutally murdering her former husband, Christopher Marshall. Marshall lived in this fashionable area near Knob Hill. His body was found early this morning. Well, my darling? Lunchtime, right? Is that right? Mm -hmm. You just hold it right there, Piccaninny. How about our stamp? Y'all want the stamp, Master Ray? I'll get it for you right now. It I don't no want problem. the stamp. Yeah, I just got it right Bernie, here. listen to me. Oh, don't worry about it, Master I don't Ray, want I the goddamn you. stamp. I want the money well, you're going to get when you sell the stamp. Then you know what y'all got to do. You got to find us a buyer. Or maybe you can mail yourself to Sun City or wherever the fuck retired police vans go. You listen to me. You listen to me, God damn it! Get your hands off me, Ray. Don't forget, I was the state prison boxing champion. You're gonna get hurt. Ooh, boxing champion. Okay. Huh? As I recall, that was a woman's man. prison, huh? I'm gonna slap the shit out of you. God, I told you, man. You don't let him. That's your problem. Bernie! Oh, God. Oh. God. I'm sorry. Damn. I'm sorry. I told God. you. I told you. Mm. Now let's let's calm down now, okay? You bitch! Ray, you okay. lousy Ray. bitch! Ray. Ray. That's it! That's it! I'm reopening the cage! You're gonna be the state prison boxing champion again! You hear me? Look, give me a break, Ray. I'm weak. I, I get the two for a goat.
Hi. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I was out of town. Oh, God. Look at me. Don't, don't. That's all right. Don't worry about that. Oh, this is so, like a terrible nightmare. Sit down. You've got to get me out of here. Please, please get me out of here. They fingerprinted me. They undressed me. I'm wearing cotton underwear. The kind that comes up to here. Sit down. Come on, please. Oh. Did my guy Bates do okay? Well, he came. He just said you were coming. He didn't say anything. Who is he? He's a lawyer in my firm. He's a child. Oh, he's 27. And those pictures! Those dreadful pictures! Where did they go? Who's gonna see those pictures? Look, 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 let me let me tell you what's going on, all right? Now, they're going to keep you here because they think the murder weapon came from your office. It's some kind of a, a dental tool. I know all that. Probable cause. What is that? Well, it, it means that the police think that uh, maybe... No! How long? Well, they can only keep you for 72 hours. Well, how long is that? What? How many days? Oh, well, that, that's... Uh, it's, uh, what's that? Oh, one? Christ. What's that? What's, uh, three days. Three days. <sighs> this is Christ! <laughs> I'm gonna die in here. I'm gonna choke on my underwear. If you smell this place, it's like a goddamn Clorox factory. Cynthia, listen to me. Listen to me, please. You are not going to die in here. You didn't kill Christopher. Am I right? Of course I didn't kill him. Well, then I'll get you out. So don't worry, okay? Huh. Now, uh, you told them nothing, right? No. Good. I mean, no. I did tell them something. What? Well, I told him the other day. I was talking to a patient of mine, and I was telling her how Christopher just leaves all this jewelry all over the apartment for anybody to steal. A black woman, okay? What are you saying there? Christopher <laughs> caught her well, in the act, and she... the police said there was evidence of a burglary. They did? Mm-hmm. Closet doors broken into. The alarm system was tampered with. I didn't know that. Well, you're always out of town. What the guy called us? An elevator. Jeez. You use this to pull teeth out? No wonder they put you to sleep. <laughs> Hell of a murder weapon, huh? You just punch the guy. What'd you say the address was again? 1143. So it's your residence. What do you think? You want to go in? What is this? Well, it says here a place of business. What do you think? You want to go in? Doing? What are you doing? I'm gonna call the Department of Corrections. Maybe our friend has a record. Swept part of the Bay Area today. It involved three stores here, all in the peninsula. Okay, Mrs. Kirschman. Well, if Ray comes in, would you ask him to call me, please? It's really important. I gotta apologize for something. Okay. All right, then. Thanks. Bye-bye. Uh -huh. uh, Miss Rodenbar, my name is Carson Beryl. I'm uh, Dr. Sheldrake's lawyer, and um, I think we should talk. Really? Why is that? <clears throat> I gotta tell you, Mr. Ville, it doesn't uh, look real good for me tonight. Uh huh? Yeah, no, uh, yeah, I understand. Look, I'll, uh, I'll call you, okay? Yeah, bye. Do 
What do you want to do? Get to the phone two minutes ago. seen anything like this. Okay, search the entire place. What are we looking for? Jewelry, burglary tools, dope. What else? Black woman. Black woman. Christ, I hope we got the right address. Hi. And I just did the floors. Ain't this a bitch? Talking to the correct party. Well, this is ridiculous. Sit down, counselor. Let's go someplace where we can be alone. No. Look at your ass, you know. Let me explain something to you. 
The police, even if they were idiots, would know that the last person to use a dental instrument in the commission of a murder would be a dentist. You, on the other hand, were in Dr. Sheldrake's office. I could have very easily picked up such an item. Are you listening to me? Because I can't begin to tell you how much trouble you're in. What do you want? I want to know if you killed Christopher Marshall. <laughs> All right. Were you in the apartment when he was killed? Did you see who did it? Did you hear who did it? Tell me. I would really like to know. You tell the doctor to keep her mouth shut. I'm afraid it's a little late for that. Well, then you better tell her if they pop me for this murder, she's a felony accessory. You're a lawyer. You know that. What are you saying? That she set this up? Don't fuck with me, man. Okay? Well, then, it's her word against yours, which is very bad for you. Unless, of course, there was uh, someone else who knew about this arrangement. There was. I just don't want to involve him. Then take a boat. Take a plane. See Argentina. I'll find out who really did it. Right. Conduct an investigation while the entire San Francisco Police Department is looking for you. <laughs> Take my advice. It's free. Disappear. We hope you enjoy your visit and we'll come back again. Thank you. You know. Ray! Telephone, Ray! Okay! All right! Give me a break. The whole world's got to stop for the goddamn phone. Ray Kirschman. Ray, this is Bernie. Look, I need your help, man. Uh, uh, last night the cops... Just tell me exactly why I should help Ray, you. Listen huh? To me. Huh? Listen. Ray, Ray, just listen. Have you got a fur coat for me yet? What about that, huh? 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 Ray, look, I'm in serious fucking trouble here. Uh, I, I don't want to hear about this other shit. You understand? Huh? 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 Hello? Hello? So, like, we're just gonna go to one bar after another? That's the plan. Looking for what? People who knew the dead man. You gotta start somewhere. I can't go in there. It looks like yuppies from hell or something. And I'll go alone. No, 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 wait, wait, come in here. What do you mean, no, wait? One minute. Got, no, let's Just one go. minute, please. Excuse me. One but minute. Carl. If you coat your stomach with olive oil, you can drink all night and you won't get drunk. Is that a fact? Well, I read about it in Wall Street Journal. Tips for executives who entertain a lot. Great. What are you doing? What are you doing? Give me that. What are you doing? I'm putting it back. No, you can't put it back. You already opened it. Now we have to pay for it. I don't understand you. You'd like steal the Chrysler building, but now I'm gonna pay for a bottle of olive oil? Look, it's not what you steal, it's who you steal it from. Even. Cure Royale, please. Put this stick out in here. What'll it be? Cranberry juice. Um, I don't have a cure, yeah. Yeah, just keep them coming. Like, I have a whole bunch of them. Thank you, buddy. Like a bucket of them, please? Like... Right, right. Cool out. Give him right. one cure, right? You got it. <laughs> what is wrong with you? This place, I, don't, I feel like I'm at an Amway convention or something. Stop. She never went out and never, like, knew him, like, into his name. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, ladies. How are you today? Um, I I'm drinking the, uh, Cure Royale here. Perhaps I could, uh, buy you a... We're already drinking something. You probably don't want to drink from me, huh? So what are you doing when you're not driving young guys wild? I mean, was there any one person, any one specific person? Nah, always somebody different. I got more ass than a toilet seat. That is beautiful. Guys, too, if you ask me. My name's Carl Heffler. I am a, I am a, I'm a Gemini. Um, I like... You see, I had my keys to my BMW over here earlier. You didn't see this. Let's cut this shit. Would you like to, like, go... <laughs> with me? Are you guys cops? Mm-hmm. 
I knew it. I fucking knew it. The minute you walked in, I knew it. No. Yeah. Really? Oh my God. Well, you see that guy over there? That's my partner. And he has had a homicide. No. <sighs> fly by and see you every now and then. I understand that. You know what? What? You two smell like a salad. I think I ought to go. Get in. Get in. Watch your head. Take him home. Sure. Night, Carl. Good night. You know what? You look a little you look a little bit like Elvis Presley. Right now when he was sad and on drugs, but like before before all that. Um, where to? Home. Where's home? How about if, like we just like drive around? I know I can pick it out. It's got like a mailbox. When a guy can screw any woman he meets, he winds up not having too many friends. Maybe he's too busy. Maybe other men don't like it. I vote for jealousy. If I voted, I don't vote. What about this uh, artist you mentioned, Grambo? Graybo. Gray, Gray and then like a bow. Graybo. Graybo always had a lot of cash. He loved to grab a check. I guess he sold a lot of paintings. Christopher was friendly with him. And Nobby, the bartender. The three of them would sit up there at the bar in a tight little huddle. Sometimes they'd talk all night. Navi Ten's bar here? Yeah, but I ain't seen him in a couple of days, nights. Happen to know his real name? You got me. He's a real scumball anyhow. He's got no hair. He's bald. Uh, well, is there anybody else you can think of? Anybody at all? Uh, I can name 40 women he knew. No, no. You're not interested in women? No, just the men. Shirtless. Look, this is real important to me. Just think hard, please, Charlie. Oh, it's not really my forte. Oh, yeah. Here's Johnny. 
He's an executor. A what? Do you know the Bart Parkers? Yeah, the fifth. Yeah. He's just one of those three-piece executors that hang out in there. Christopher always called him Johnny. Here's Johnny, he'd say. Happen to catch his real name? No. Not interested. What line of work are you in? I'm a cat burglar. Oh, shit. What do you do with them? What? The cats. <laughs> I'll hold them for ransom. Is there any money in that? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Look who's asking if there's any money in pussy. <laughs> Bernice Rodenbar. No. Well, she broke into this man's apartment and stabbed him. She did? Uh-huh. We'd like to talk to you about that. But first, we'd like you to go brush your teeth. If he's a professional artist living and working in the Bay Area, he'll be in here. Thanks. His name is Gray Bow. I know, dear. I know. Hmm. Is, uh, this for sale? It is. So I need something to go over my bed. Graybo, here it is, right here. Oh, really? Thank you. Thanks. Charlie Weaver, Wally Cox, Paulin, that, 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 that. Apparently there's something a little bit more mysterious about the secret squares than we're ever had to believe. And I'm asking you, cop, Dude, guy, I want some answers from you now. Prado, can you explain? And it... Oh, beautiful. I'm, I'm bugged. I'm being bugged. This is like, I, I come in. Don't and... touch that. You signed a release form for that earlier, Mr. Heffler. So? This is bullshit. You're driving me nuts. Don't even look at me. You're such a condescending fuck. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. I hope you noticed, like, when I said that, I was kind of smirking a little. Are you okay? I worry about you. I'm fine, Mr. Heffler. Did you know that, like, policemen are at the highest rate of suicide? So, you know, you think I'm fucked up. You better be careful yourself someday. Boom! In the closet. And then, oh, that'd be great for your children to find a big dead old fat cop. Go explain that to your kids, why don't you? You know why I'm here? You mind? It's got nothing to do with any of this. The reason I'm here is because I'm a black man in a white man's world, and I'm just caught in the cards of your... Caucasian, Mr. Heffler. Beautiful! Throw that in my face, too! And I... And I and I, and I look like shit. Fuck. I like. You got any moves? How's it going? Not so good. I can see people in there. It looks like, it looks like a people aquarium. Let him go as soon as possible. I'm looking for the apartment of Renita Boudet. Oh! What the fuck 
fuck you doing out there? What the fuck is wrong with you? What are you doing to my fucking door? I told you I'm looking what for you. What are you doing to my door? No, 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 don't throw, don't throw, don't, 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 hold it, hold it, hold it. Damn junkies. He gags, man, you know, I was just cruising by, I'm looking for Renita Mude, you know, because, like, they told me to bring this stuff over here. I, I, I imagine you probably was real nervous when you opened the door and checked my ass out. So I didn't know what to do, you know, but I figured 500, oh, how many could there be on one floor? Just so drink it, bed. shut up. Get out. No problem, man. No problem. Wow. This is really hip. You did this? You an artist, huh? This is really good. Yeah. Cool. Whoa. Whoa. Kick my ass. I like this one over here, man. Oh, you know, this thing reminds me a couple of trips I took with a couple of people. I, I wasn't like we wasn't going anywhere at the time because we'd already arrived by the time we went. I mean, this is really the fluidity and the motion of what's happening. Some say love is wonderful. It's about how to one can feel It's the kind of dream at first time But be wanted to see if it's real Love can be open for life It can make your heart be seen It can also make past people cry Love can lead to so wrong and being loved had its own mysterious way that some fool is turned to world Some can find the love of their life Someone believe that car I may make a love one as their wife I love that is meant to last when you fail to see me. Stand over there. Dog jumped at me, talking shit to me. Talking like, you know, he was really letting me know that this was your space. You know how people get, which I can really dig, you know, because the kind of space that you got, you are artists, you enter stuff, you feel, you are moving and grooving with the real thing, you know? Um, I, 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 I should go now, yeah. All right, who are you? Whoa! Okay, you gonna let me know why you're here? Yeah. Who do you think I am, a goddamn idiot? You think I'm a fool? Yeah. You're gonna tell me why you're here? Let me know! You're gonna let me know! Or I'm gonna cut you! Tell me! Tell me! Tell me! I'm, I'm gonna tell you this much. Non ci pensare. Hey, Navi! Devo andare. Everything is fine. It's beautiful. Don't worry. Ciao. What? Another one. That's ridiculous. Of course you are. But men buy me books, coats, cars, diamonds, acoustic ceilings, microwave ovens. You don't ask him for these things, do you? Will it be? Package delivery. Oh. Just says made it. Yeah, I'll take it. You got a sign for it. And they tire easily. Kenobi. Kenobi. Is that like in Star Wars? No, idiot. It's Nobby. Oh, so it's like a nickname? Yes. I think maybe it's something like that. Well, I'm gonna need your full name, please. Sorry. Come on, it's the regulations. Hey, fuck you, okay? Fuck you? Thank you very much. I come here to give you a fucking package, and you decide to blow me shit? Like, 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 like. you're my idea of a dream come true? Making shit from a dildo with ears? You know, when I was like five, I said, Dad, Dad, can I get a job where random fucking shitheads blow me crap all day? I'm gonna break you in fucking half and use your head as a ballpoint. Now sign the goddamn thing. All right, all right, all right, all right, I'll sign the thing. Jesus.
Put your name under there. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. You want to see somebody, pal? You know what I mean? Like, get some sort of professional help? I love you. Okay. Thank you very much. some evidence, something that'll keep my ass out of jail. You got Navi's number? Navi DeCarno? He's expecting you? Yeah, he told me to come by. Name? Sally Ride. Not in. Damn. Look, let me slip something under his door. Oh, come on, man. You look like a reasonable guy. That's funny. Because I'm not. Thanks for meeting me, Ray. What's this? It's a fur coat. It's a mink. This is a man's coat. Hey, nothing's perfect. It is pretty nice. 
Okay, fuck her. Let her get her own coat. <laughs> Do you know what's going on with me? Yeah, I hear you kill somebody. Yeah, well, you gotta talk to the cops for me. How come? Oh, how come? Because if you don't, you're not gonna get your $20,000. Besides the fact that I know who killed him. I got the evidence. Don't you get it? It's a Cabbage Patch doll. God, you are so dense. No, 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 no. It was a guy named Graybo. Graybo? Uh -huh. Now, look at these. Voila. Counterfeit plates. Found in his apartment last night. Good, huh? I guess. They're terrific, trust me. Look at this. This is why the paper is so good. It takes a $1 bill, bleaches the ink off, and then prints 100 on it. Huh? Now, you kids get to work and go over and check out this guy's apartment. I think you'll find some dental tubes just like the murder weapon. At least you'll find them. Uh, this guy left town in a very, very big hurry. Well, maybe we should go see this Graybo guy. What do you think? Okay. You want to come, Ray? Sure. Why not? They called us at 6 this morning. Same wound as on the other guy. Same position, same depth. What do you say, Ray? How about helping us pick up your friend? Uh, does she make a fool of you on a regular basis? Or maybe we should hold you, Ray. That could be arranged. Yeah. We could put that together. Well, then it's gotta be this guy, the bartender. What's his name? Nobby. Nobby. Right. What about the Pope? Come Think on. Maybe he snuck over. Look, the... These cats were involved in something worth a lot of money. Two of them are dead. One of them is not. I mean, it's very simple to me. Mm -hmm. Don't mm -hmm me. I was in Nobby's apartment. I walked out of there with a half a million dollars. Made with those plates? I figured we split it down the middle. What's going on, Ray? You roll me over? In the clover, my darling. They're gonna take you when we come out. Ray, babe, you know I don't kill people. It's out of my hands. I'm not going back to jail. And I will spill blood before I do. Just tell him what you know. Maybe you're right. This this Navi guy. Look, give me a shot, Ray. Okay? Just a shot. At what? Hey. Just a shot. Where are you going? To the bathroom. Just remember, you started this shit. What's she doing? She went potty.
Tell you another thing. You should have let me kick in the door. I'm sorry, but I think that needs saying. to go. Uh, where's my jewelry? I don't know. Maybe you got it. Call the police, Carson. No, Carson, don't. Why shouldn't I? Because I'm at the end of my rope. That's why. 
What is it you want? I'd like you to tell me everything you know about Christopher, starting with junior high. Oh, please. Fine, I'll tell you everything I know. You killed him! What else is there to know? Christopher was in the counterfeiting business. What? Look, it's been a tough day. Tell me about it. I mean, first, I, I thought this artist killed him. Then the artist turned up dead. And then I thought this bartender killed him, and then this bartender turned up dead. I swear, you know, every time I think I figured out who killed this guy, they end up dead. And I am running out of suspects. I see. Um, excuse me, uh, could I just interject a quick question here? Sure. Who gives a shit? I just want a hot bath. So now, Doc, I'm back to you. Have you seen my briefcase lately? What the hell are you talking? What the hell is she? Would you do something about this, Carson? Now look, miss, I... See, Christopher was robbed. And whoever robbed him took my briefcase thinking that the counterfeit money was in there, but it wasn't, because the bartender had that. Jesus, I can't follow any of this. You can't. You didn't seem to have any trouble following my ass to Christopher's house the night I burglarized it. There. You see? She was there. Yes. But then so were you. <laughs> what? Come on, that was you in that room screwing that man's pants off while I was hiding in the closet. I beg your pardon? You wear more perfume than any dentist I've ever known. I mean, the room reeked of the stuff. Joy, isn't it? You slept with Christopher? Slept with him? Honey, the bitch knocked holes in the wall. Okay, so what? So I did, so what? Big deal. There's a distinct difference between killing people and fucking them. Allow me to call this a great agent. Turn this goddamn thing off! This chicken is skinny. Look. What are you doing? Get away from me. The fact is, my graders reject. Where is the jewelry? <laughs> Leave me alone. Did you have someone kill him for you? No, Carson! Would you please? That's what threw me with you. I heard a man's voice, but you could have faked that, couldn't you? Absolutely not. Carson! Right! And now, ladies and gentlemen, here's Johnny! Carson! It's a little roll in the hay for old times, eh? <laughs> you shouldn't have to go to the electric chair for that. <gasps> it's not fair. I think you've said enough, don't you? It's not fair. Yeah. I think I have. Oh. I'll get a lawyer. I already have a lawyer. I don't know who's responsible for drawing it up, but I don't like it, and we'll never win the case if it worked like that. What is the problem here? Excuse me a second. Mayor Feinstein? Mm-hmm. I wonder what she wants. Hello. I know it was you, asshole. I can prove it. Who is this? Guess. Look, I'm in a very important meeting. Oh, I got a very important meeting with the cops. <sighs> about what? You and Christopher. What about me and... What about us? Oh, I know everything. I've even got a witness. A good friend of Christopher's. Up, oh, gotta go, counselor. Oh, no, wait. Uh... Look, I have no idea what this conversation is about, but uh, what is it that you want? It's very easy. I want my bag back with everything in it. And then what? I don't know, take a boat, maybe a plane, go visit Argentina. I'll be out of here by dark. Uh, where would you like to meet me? 
Stern Grove, two o'clock, by the stage. Be there. <laughs> Nice weather we're having, Counselor. Where's the gun? Where's my jewels? Dr. Sheldrake's jewels. No, no, I don't think so. Not after all this shit. First, the gun. <sighs> Throw it. Throw it? Throw it? You know how much these things cost? Throw it as far as you can. Looking for all the guns that I listen Searching for a diamond Many colors all to find her image From in the blinding light Of the song of an obstacle Like a cat in love Launching from the heart of the first time love first time and time again I put up a new goose just to speak her love language my mind upon bring us I sit and and we sing I'm falling in my eyes away. I tremor and sleep. It's the perfect word. There a couple times. That's a goddamn lie. He told me all about you. I slept with him too. Every now and then. This is preposterous. This is all lies. What did he tell you? Uh, you know, the whole plan. About how you sort of figured it all out for him. He said, that goddamn Veryl, boy, is he smart. Veryl thinks we should do this. Veryl thinks we should do that. Okay, that's enough. But, you know, I don't think he completely trusted you. Or else he wouldn't have recorded most of your pillow talk. Look, nobody has to know about any of this. I'll go to my car. Thank you. Say, our Carson, you want to tell me what happened to the money the Mafia gave Nobby? Um, well, it's, it's at my home. Great. We can pick it up on the way to the airport. All right. Hey, mister. Why did you have to kill him? Why? Because. 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 Because he didn't give a shit about anybody! Uh, oh my god! Explain this bitch! Ray! I didn't know. I I'm sorry, Frank. It, it doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt much at all. Well, Jesus, I guess not. Oh, my God.
Which way to go? That way. So, mister, I can dump you in the pool anytime I feel like it. Where the hell do you think you're going now? Come here. Yeah, come here. Boy, I'm pissed at you. Come on. Now your ass is grass. <laughs> Do and my manlope tapes. Bernie! Yeah, I'm here. I'm here. Bernie, you're okay! <laughs> Carl, 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 calm down. Breathe, breathe, chill. What happened to your head? What happened to your nose? It's all right. Did you get everything on the tape? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I also popped the trunk of his car. You stopped to do that and didn't come to help me? First things first, my darling. Mm. Carl, come here. Mm. Now look. Now if he moves or even looks like he's gonna wake up, crown him. Okay. All right. Wasn't anything uh, on the tape about the jewelry? Not that I recorded. <laughs> Carl, Carl, Carl. I said only if he wakes up. I thought his arm moved like just a little bit. Yeah. I gotta stop doing this shit. Sure, Bernie, sure. No, really. It's in your blood. You can't quit. Take it from somebody who knows. Oh, really, mister? I'm a detective in a chintzy coat with a retirement plan. Really? Yeah, it's really my love. Say, so, hey there, Ray. You know you kind of... Hey, hey, hey. God, I can get behind you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, what are you doing? I want to talk to you. I want to get up in your face. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to get up in Bernie, your face. Bernie, get off of me. Bernie, God Keep damn. Keep behind out of my bookstore because I know you can't read. Hey, Bernie, I thought we were a team. Team this. Hey, listen to me. Don't bring yourself. Get off me and go get drunk. I'm not going back. 